On the beaches of Machli Patnam in Andhra Pradesh state, only the gods remained. Cyclone Lehar, the third tropical cyclone to hit this eastern Indian state in the last seven weeks, expected any moment. Fearing the worst, mass evacuations ordered. The winds are really starting to pick up now, but as you can see, the authorities aren't really taking any chances. They've completely cleared out the beach. The police are here as well patrolling. be by here just to make sure no one is by the sea as the cyclone hits. But when it hit, no one noticed. Cyclone Lehar weakened from a category three to a mere tropical depression. At a fishing village nearby, confusion. As some wonder if it's still best to leave their palm tree leaf huts behind and move to concrete buildings, while others wonder what the fuss is about. Fisherman Prakash and his family lost their fishing boat, nets and much of their belongings in the first cyclone of the season. Still recovering, this time they're not taking any chances. We were just beginning to restart our lives, we were beginning to fix our damaged boats and now the authorities are saying another cyclone is coming, he said. Those who are evacuated in school buses. 40,000 people moved to safe houses in this district alone. We've seen one bus go already, and this is the second bus that they've tried to load up, but as you can see, it's half empty. They managed to convince some of the women and children to go, but a lot of the fishermen themselves have decided to stay back and watch over their belongings. The fishermen say they live by the sea and because of the sea, so strong winds and heavy rains are a way of life. Still, disaster management officials go door to door to convince the reluctant residents. Even when Cyclone Pileen came and we tried to evacuate people, they refused, so we took them to shelters by force. That's why we saved so many lives back then, he says. This time, it's their choice, he says, but he has orders to take as many people as he can. The village high school converted into a temporary shelter. Mainly women, children and the elderly have come. They're being fed and looked after. They and the officials here know India has been lucky, but better to be safe than sorry, they say. Sunima Uras, CNN, Machlipatnam, Andhra Pradesh.